Hello sweet friends! My name is Birdie and I am your friendly neighborhood forest witch and in today's video I will be doing another witchy thrift haul because you seem to enjoy the last one and actually I had forgotten to show you some things on the last video so I thought I'd do a second one because I also had picked up a few more things but don't fret, my spring decorate with me video here at the Witch's Cottage is coming out. It'll actually be the video after this one. I'm hoping to get it out this weekend, but no promises. I have been, oh my goodness, it has been ridiculous here and I just haven't had the time, so bear with me. But in today's video, I have some witchy books some witchy things for my witchcraft practice and some spring decor for the witch's cottage. So without further ado, let's get into this haul. So first up, let's start with the books. If you've been around my channel for a while, you'll know that anytime that I go to the thrift store or even Dollar Tree, I love picking up books. The first one is Walden and Civil Disobedience by Henry David Thoreau. Now I picked it up exclusively for Walden and this is about his the time that he had built a cabin on land that Ra Ralph Waldo Emerson had owned and he lived on the land isolated for two years on Walden Pond, hence the name. And I just love anything dealing with nature and people's experience with nature. So that's why I picked up this one. Then I also picked up The Interpretation of Dreams by Sigmund Freud. Now, if you're gonna do any type of dream work, I definitely recommend delving into the psychology of dreams first. So that's why I picked this one up. Then I also found this beautiful journal. Look at this, absolutely gorgeous. So I thought this would make a beautiful book of shadows. So pick that up and it's my favorite color, olive green. So that was perfect. Then I'm also doing a DNA test, a genealogy DNA test to finally find out whether I'm really Irish or not. Oh my goodness, I'm so scared. But yeah, that video will be coming out as soon as I get my results. But I had found this family record book and I thought that would be super cute to fill out once I find out some of my ancestry and things like that. So yeah, that's why I picked that up. And then I also found it's Shamanic Journeying, A Beginner's Guide by Sandra Ingerman. And this actually comes with a CD. And on the CD, you get a 12 minute drumming track with whistles and rattles, a 20 minute double drumming track, and a three minute single drumming track. So as I'm delving further into my work with druidry, I also want to delve more into shamanism. So that's why I picked this up. Then I also found this gardening journal and oh my goodness, it is so beautiful. It actually has pictures in here and I know I already have a gardening journal, but hey, you, you know, you can always have more than one, but this was just too gorgeous not to pick up. So pick that one up. And then I, I've been wanting this book for a while. It's Women Who Run With Wolves by Clarissa Pinkola Estes, I think it is. So I'm so glad I finally found this at the thrift store. Then I also found this little botany book. It is so cute and it's just like the one that I had got, I think last year about birds where you can go out bird watching and actually record what you see. But this one is for botany, for plants. So it lists the date, 
the start and end time, location, weather, terrain, and your observations. And then there's also a little space for a sketch of the flower as well. So I thought that was super cute. And then you get a little thing in the back that tells you all about plants and leaves. So love that. Then I also picked up Classic Irish Stories by Michael P. Quinlan. So this is just some folk tales from Ireland. So you know I had to pick that one up. And then the last book that I had found is actually a memoir of a witch by Amanda Yates Garcia, and it's called Initiated. Now, I had never heard of this before, uh, so I'm really interested in reading it. It was at one of my local bookstores called Half Price Books. So I thought, hey, why not? I, I'm really interested in you know, learning about her practice. And then also at the thrift store, I found this beautiful sun catcher. <gasps> Isn't this perfect for spring with the beautiful butterfly? Absolutely gorgeous. And it is glass and metal, not plastic. So love that. Then I also found one of these spiral candles. So you light it up here and then when it burns, it just goes around. Now I don't have one of those candle holders for this yet. Now I did see that Amazon had them, so I might pick one up on there so I can light it. But yeah, absolutely love that. And then last from the thrift store, is this little Avon perfume bottle of a cauldron. Isn't this gorgeous? And fun fact, I used to sell Avon for 11 years and I actually already have one of these cauldron ones, but it doesn't have this little like lampshade thing. It's just the, the bottle itself. But I thought this was so cute. Now, I think I might paint this, maybe do some witchy symbols on it, but yeah, isn't this darling? And it actually still has the perfume in it. Let's let's give it a smell. I don't know if I should be doing this. This is pretty old. Oh man, smells like a grandma. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely love this. Does it give the year on it? Avon Elusive Cologne. No, it doesn't, but yeah, I, this, I'm pretty sure this is older, but yeah, absolutely love this. So now let's move into the items that I picked up from Timu. So first up are these gorgeous garden gloves. They are amazing quality. Absolutely love these. These are gonna be perfect for Hopefully this coming week, not this week, but next week, I will finally be getting into my garden and being able to clean it out and then plant some things. But yeah, these are beautiful. Then I also found this little miniature frame. Oh my gosh, I love anything miniature. But it's this tiny little pitcher, vintage pitcher. And the little frame actually even has a little kickstand. Isn't this adorable? Oh my goodness. Absolutely love that. Then I also picked up this sticker. Timu has an abundance of stickers. So if you're into scrapbooking or junk journaling or what have you, they have tons of stickers. But this one says they didn't burn witches, they burned women. So I picked that up and then I also got this, I guess it's an iPad case or a tablet case, or you can even put your books in it as a bookcase. But I don't know, I think I might actually end up returning this because I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera, but the images look blurry. Now from further away, it looks really good, but close up, I don't know. The images are just, they're just so blurry. So I don't know, I might end up returning it. Now Timu for the most part has great quality items, but some of the things 
are a miss for me and I think this is gonna be one of them I just I don't know it looks too blurry but anyways next up I bought some decals for my altar room window and I was wondering if it oh here's the picture so it's of these really pretty rabbits and florals so I thought that would look really pretty on my altar room window but let me go ahead and open open these up so we can actually see better of what it looks like but yeah I wanted something for the windows in there I don't know it's just half of the window like the bottom half they have it um fogged up or you know those decals that you can't you can't see through that's what they have on the bottom half of that oh my gosh this is so nice the quality of this is just oh, so beautiful absolutely love that so i might put this one because i have two windows in there and i keep looking this way because i can actually see see the outside window to my altar from this window in the dining room but yeah I might put this one on the one window and then this one on the other one but isn't that beautiful oh my goodness absolutely love that and then in the last um witchy thrift store haul I had mentioned that I wanted to redo my upstairs bathroom in a like a water element ship theme like a nautical theme and i found this beautiful um paper like um poster of a ship and i just thought this was gorgeous and it lists all the components of a ship and i can get this really nice frame and put it in i'm thinking wood tones maybe with some gold lining for the frame but yeah isn't this gorgeous absolutely love that and then i also picked up another well actually two metal signs this one super cute for spring it's got the little birdies on there and it says birds of a feather oh my goodness absolutely love that and then this next one you're gonna you're gonna know why i got this one but i got one of ireland oh my goodness isn't it beautiful? I love this. So I'm not sure if I'm going to put it in my office or just save it for Irish Heritage Day decor. But yeah, love that one. Then I also picked up this rabbit canvas. And I just thought this was so beautiful. Isn't this gorgeous? And it'd be perfect for spring. And then the last thing from Timu is this canvas. And this one is gonna go in my office. Now, the color on this seems a little too bright and I wanted it to be more vintage. So I'm thinking about trying to tea stain it. Now, I'm not sure how that'll go with this canvas material. If you've ever tried staining canvas material, please let me know and you know, give me any ideas on how I can make this more vintage looking. But yeah, I got this for my office and I'm gonna frame this one as well. And then the next thing I picked up was from the Target Dollar Spot and it's this huge jar bottle. And this was only $5. This is gonna be great for moon water or if you're trying to infuse something for an oil or a tincture. But yeah, this is a great size for only five bucks and it has a lid. So I picked this up. Then the next few items are actually from Dollar Tree. Now, when I just went to my dollar store, they had a huge selection of beautiful glass bottles. And wait till you see these, they're gorgeous. This one here has a little bird on it. Oh my goodness. And I'm not sure if you can tell on camera or not, but it's actually two-tone. So you have like this greenish blue color here and then this brown color on top, and this actually pops off, so it's a usable bottle, which I love. And they actually had two or three different colors of these ones. 
Then I also picked up this cute little bottle because it's my favorite color, olive green. And then they started coming out with the summer items with their nautical line. So I found this, isn't this, oh my God. It's got the rolled up scroll. So it's like a message in a bottle. Super cute. And it even has a little seashell on there. Isn't this adorable? Oh my goodness. But I love picking up the this color green and they also had one in like a blue. I love picking up those colors for my moon water or any water that I'm trying to infuse. So they're just gorgeous. So you can keep this in here for decor or use it for your different infused waters or blessed waters, but isn't this gorgeous? Oh my goodness, absolutely love it. And then I also picked up this soothing candle and this, this smells amazing. I don't know what this scent is and it doesn't say, but it's, it almost smells like candy. So I had to pick this one up, absolutely love these. But if you're in search of smaller candles like this, that are actually like they say soothing or relaxation or something like that to add intention into your candle magic practice definitely check dollar tree because they have a wide selection of candles so i picked that up and then i also found this new tote bag with herbs on it <gasps> this is gorgeous oh my goodness I about screamed when I saw this. This is so beautiful. And of course, if you didn't like the white, you can always dye it. I think I'm gonna dye it an olive green. <gasps> oh my goodness, I love this. It is so pretty. And then I also found some Spa Naturals bath salts. So this one is infused with rose petals and it says, free of parabens, sulfates, synthetics, artificial surfactants. Not sure what that is. Colors, dyes, and scented only with essential oils. So as far as ingredients go, there is sodium chloride, but then the rest is essential oils, dried flowers, and fragrance. So I picked up the rose petals one. I also picked up the chamomile one, and they also had a lavender as well. And then last but not least, I found an artist on Instagram called Annette Pierso or Perso. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I will link her shop down in the description. Definitely go check her out. Her items are absolutely gorgeous and wait until you see these ornaments. I about died. Oh my goodness. And I definitely spent more than what I should have, but they're gorgeous pieces. So. First up is this one, and this is for in bulk. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh my goodness, absolutely beautiful. Next up is for Letha. Look how pretty she is. And just the detail on these are absolutely gorgeous. Then the next one is Astera. And look, she's holding a little bunny. Oh my goodness. And with the trees, oh, so pretty. Absolutely love that. Then this one is for Yule. She's actually holding a little Yule log and a lantern. And there's a little village on her skirt. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. And then the next one is for Mabin, and she's holding a little cornucopia. Then the next one is Samhain. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, gorgeous. And then Lunessa. And look at her beautiful crown, and she's holding some wheat. And then this one is for Beltane. So pretty. 
And then last but not least, I got one that is supposed to represent Gaia. Ah, so beautiful. Oh my goodness, absolutely love this. Now I will mention that she lives overseas and I'm in the United States. So shipping did take a little longer, but it was well worth it. These are gorgeous. So I got nine ornaments total for my Yule tree. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. She actually also shows um, them hanging from your rear view mirror in your car. So that would be pretty as well. Or of course you can just use them as regular decor pieces. Just stand them up on your altar or a mantle like this or hang them from a little hook. Oh my goodness. They're absolutely beautiful and in my opinion, well worth the money. But that is my entire witchy thrift haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. And like I said, the next video will finally be my decorate with me for spring decor here at the Witch's Cottage. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss that. But thank you all so much for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks friends. Bye.